Welcome. If you've never been here before, welcome back if you have. As you can already tell by what's sitting on the bench and the fact that we're not out in the garage, today's content is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I picked this up on a pick a little while ago where um, I was hauling some computer stuff. And for those of you who don't know, I'm pretty big on technology. Uh, anything computer related that's old and new. Um, even some stuff going back to the 70s and 80s and this is from the late 80s, maybe early 90s. Uh, I've been trying to find a date on it. And so far there's no luck. As you can tell, it's in the box currently. Um, I think it's brand new or very close to it. Uh, most of the accessories and stuff that's included with it in the box are still sealed. Um, there is one disc in there that is open and two font cartridges. Other than that, everything else is still sealed and uh, I thought I would unbox this. Um, I meant to say just the accessories are sealed. Uh, the system unit and the monitor appear to have been opened, but I did take out the box that has the accessories such as the keyboard, and I took out the system unit, and they look and smell new. So I'm going to assume that if this was used, it was for a very short time. They put it back in the box, and it's been sitting there ever since. So. What we're going to do in this video today is we're going to unbox this and we're going to set it up and see what it can do because I have no experience whatsoever with word processors. I've never even so little as powered one on and I've worked on I can't tell you how many computers all the way from the DOS era, the early DOS era up until now and these are a whole new animal for me so uh, we're going to go through this together today and see how this goes so this is basically going to be uh, a ride along new user experience because again I've got no idea what these things are capable of other than simple word processing I mean as far as features go I've never played with one so today we're gonna do that together and uh, I'm gonna set this up uh, and move this box onto the floor so that this is a little bit easier and I can just uh, pull some things out of it and we can set it up okay so Let's adjust this here and move this a little bit closer. Should be good enough for now. Um, we got a small box right here in the top. Let's see. From here, we got a two pack of 2.8 inch data disks. There's no printer. It comes included with these, but for some reason they include two ribbons. A data disk that does not have any packaging on it. And then these are the font cartridges. You got Corona font and Corona art. So I'm assuming that might be some kind of like form of clip art. So we'll find out in a little bit. And then finally the keyboard. This, uh, let's see, let's take the plastic off this since we're going to need it. This foam, this foam has been on here, like, what I assume this is new is this foam is deteriorating. Like, if, if this was used at all, somebody took good care of it. Cable for the keyboard. Yeah. Other than the sticker peeling in the corner a little bit, this looks brand new. Like, it's still got all the, the gloss. The camera probably doesn't pick it up, but this literally looks completely unused. Alright, so that's that box. But for right now, I'm going to set that stuff back in there and set that box aside. So we can go through the rest of it, pull the system unit and see what that looks like. Set this off to the side. Alright, this box is a system unit. Let's see what we get in here. AC adapter, 
It uh, appears to use 12.6 volts AC, 1.8 amps. And we have a very small system unit. Home's not deteriorating on this as much. This is cool. I like to look at this little thing a lot. Make sure I'm getting this right here on the camera. <laughs> this is uh, got a serial port in the back, port for the monitor, AC adapter. <clears throat> All right, so now let's check out the monitor. That I have not opened yet. And like I said. In the beginning of the video, I did open the boxes, but I have not tested any of this, so I don't know if any of it works. But we're going to find out right now. Okay, this, oh, heavy. Oh, the box split. I was afraid of that. This box is very old and tattered. Let me see, it's been in storage for a while. It's got webs all over it but aside from all that get this dusted off so it's not getting this crawl over my workbench all right this Okay, this is neat. Looks like there's a. This is for holding papers. Uh, but it looks like there's a cover for the unit in here. Yeah, that's a. That's a. That's a pretty wild thing to include right there because people usually like these didn't last for them out or they didn't use them. This even still smells new but it's uh, pretty discolored, so it may not be. Like I said, I don't know if the system is brand new. Because it definitely wasn't sealed when I got it. thing we didn't get in the box that I actually didn't pay any attention to is documentation. So this could have very well been used already. But I mean just looking at this, I don't think it has. I mean even back then for the what this stuff would cost you, I don't understand why you would buy it and then not use it, but this apparently happened a lot. Um, the shipping label I looked at on the box was for a store. So, my guess is what happened is this could have been stocked, didn't get sold. This was definitely set up. We got tape on top of the monitor here. and. This is for the, get the Velcro on it for this little document holder piece. Sorry about that, just occurred to me that, that I wasn't even in the center of the picture. Okay, let's see how this thing attaches. I'll go ahead and assume this goes like that. And then this just went like this. 
Okay, that is neat. <laughs> Clipboard that just uh, hangs off the side of the monitor. Hold it out of the way. All right. Well, let's get it set up and see if it works. I'm actually going to be selling this unit, so if you're watching this video and you're interested, go ahead and shout out. We can happily uh, work out a price and see where it goes. up a little bit. Yeah, this has definitely been set up before. There's a screw back here in the monitor connector that was in the way. Put that up. And this goes up on top. Now I'm pretty sure this is a monochrome CRT because I don't see why you would need color in a word processor. And So, I'm going to get into firing this up, but I'm going to rearrange a couple things here real quick, get the camera a little bit closer, and go from there. Alright, and we're back. And now that we're all hooked up, and I've actually had a look around the system, we've got the font and graphic cartridges here, but I don't see a slot where these go. So, um, I'm not sure how we're going to check those out. Uh, I'll have to look a bit, little bit more into that and do a little Googling. Maybe I'll find something because I haven't even Googled this thing. So, we're bringing out the smoke test now. Let's see if we're going to supply power to the surge bar. And then try the monitor first. that a minute to warm up and now I will hit the switch on the side okay so let's see we got create viewer edit text erase document from data disk document transfer prepare new data disk copy data disk envelope format Recall document from data disk, store text to data disk, and print text, set margins. You know what? We're going to dive straight into it and see if there's anything on this data disk which doesn't even have the label stuck on it, so this might even be unused. Never used 2.8 inch floppies before, nor do I know if this drive works, but we're going to find out, I guess. Well, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna reset this. Uh, okay, 1990. That's when this was made. I want to know. Okay, five. Let's see if anything comes up. It's Sounds like it's trying to read the disc at least. Okay, it says press menu to cancel, so we're not getting much of anything here, so that would be... That seems to have made it angry. Let's 
try turning that disc over. See what happens. Okay. Well, we're not getting nothing there either, so let's try something else. Uh, let's try to prepare it as a new data disk and see if that does anything. Preparing a data disk structures it for use on the system. A new data disk must be prepared before it can be used. Preparing a used data disk will erase all documents. Both sides of a data disk must be prepared separately. Uh, yes. Now let's see if it actually does something. I'm going to pause this so I got a feeling it's going to take a little bit. Okay, so I did a little more poking around off camera and this thing might have a fault in it that I have to possibly fix. Um, I can't seem to get it to do anything with the floppy disk drive and when it does it seems to freeze the system. It will not go back to the main menu once it does that. So I'm going to have to take a part and look at it and maybe this will come back for another video in the future. Um, but for right now I think this is going to be it. Unfortunately there isn't really much else we can do here without being able to use the disk drive because I think that was how options were added to it. Um, I'm not really sure. But um, I think before I end the video just for uh, fun we'll pop the top off and see what's inside. So, I will reconfigure the camera one more time, and then we will open it up and see what makes it tick inside. Alright, I uh, got you up a little higher now, so you can see from above a little bit what's going on here. Um, I got the screws out. They were a little bit uh, time consuming because they were these little uh, Torx bits, and let me tell you, they were in there tight. I haven't looked inside this yet, but I did get the lid loose, so let's check it out. See if we got anything going on in here that might be kind of obvious. I don't see nothing that stands out that would cause that floppy drive to not work. But that's kind of cool how they did the power switch. Got that big old chunky switch right there on the board. Right here. It uses this plastic thing through the side of the case. Alright. So that's the inside of it. I'm going to take a closer look here real quick and see if there's anything to point out. Yeah, there wasn't really anything in there special. Um, you got to microcontroller from Intel right about here um, Motorola here that's about it the only thing really to point out uh, I might do a little bit more poking around with this in the future and like I said I'll bring it back for another video uh, but if you guys want to see more computer related content as well as the small engine stuff I normally do I can start posting more of that stuff on this channel um, I actually do quite a lot of it and to my right there's actually a full workbench that's uh, stocked with you know hot air supply and uh, variable power supply and soldering gun and you know uh, hot tweezers all the good tools that I use to do all that stuff because uh, I work on like a lot of laptops mostly so uh, but if you want to see more of this type of content then uh, let me know because I'm trying to figure out what to post that people will watch and the small engine stuff seems to do okay but this is going to be my first video in probably over a year uh, since this coronavirus stuff started, uh, I haven't been affected by it in the slightest bit other than um, my business kind of coming to a halt in a way because I, I detail cars professionally and I mess with computers as a hobby and then I pick this stuff up from people who would otherwise scrap it and I move it into the hands of collectors where it belongs. So uh, I hope you liked the video and if you want to see more, there will definitely be a lot more.
Thanks for watching.